Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. Today, we're going to give you another Bolo. It's something I do find. I've showed it to you in many different videos. It's Zippo lighters. There's a ton of different lighters that are worth money, but Zippo is the one I find the most often that has good value to it. It's actually the one that sells for the most, other than like high-end Cartier or something along that line. Let's hop over there right now and show you some. So here we are with the first one. Now this is an earlier one. One deciding factor to say on age on any Zippo are the actual hinges and where they appear on a Zippo. A modern Zippo has five barrels. This one has three. A modern Zippo also has the hinges on the inside of the case. So you won't see them on the outside. That was a flaw back then, as was having three barrels. New ones, as I said, hinges on the inside with five barrels. So if you see one that the hinge is on the outside of it, it's marked Zippo on it as well on the bottom, it's a keeper right off the bat. Any of these you can sell for some horrendously high amounts of money. We've sold Zippo lighters over a thousand bucks before. I buy them in big lots. Many people don't realize the age difference just by looking at them because almost all of them look the same to most people. This one has Pat Pending on it, so that's a big difference in some of these. This is from 1934 or 35, somewhere in that range. Again, that's the difference on these. They're all plated or chromed, whatever the case may be. A lot of these were brass. This is one of the first ones now, a thousand bucks. Here's another one. Now, this one's a little different here. This one's outside again, outside hinges, so it's still a 30s one, but it has four barrels. They actually added another one, and you can see them on the hinge. The barrels are the pieces that actually uh, swing the top lid away from the rest of it. It's just the device for the hinge itself. Perfect example of this one here. This one's also an early advertising one as well, from the 30s. Now, this one says it went for 10000 but I believe it's just a few thousand on this one here. I think it was a best off or a bin on this one here, so... Either way, it's worth a good thousand, no matter what. All the bottoms look the same. This one's really square. One deciding factor in a lot of these are those lines you see on the left bottom over there, those hash marks on them. Here's another one. This one's the same thing. Uh, just look at the barrels. This one has three barrels. It has the hinge on the outside. You know it's a 30s. You know it's worth some money. Most every one of these is worth like 800 to to 1000 Some of them are worth more than that as well. This one's for TWA. Trans World Airlines, I believe, is what TWA stands for. Any of that kind of stuff goes for money, especially these early advertising ones. Another example, this one's just a plain one. Just a plain, nothing specific on it, nothing standard. It does have 16 holes in the chimney, uh, which is another deciding factor on this. So that's part of the issue on this one here. It has four barrels and the outside hinge, as I said. That's what you want. Real nice example. It also has the hash marks on the top and then the left down there, just what you would expect to have. This one went for $1,500. Condition-wise helps. It has no wear to the finish, so. And 16 holes. And again, the holes are the holes here, the wind holes, the vent holes. It's three, two, three is the row. Eight on this side, eight on the other side. 16 total. That's what those stand for. Another early one. Now this one's 12 holes, so this gives you an example. This is also a, let me show you the um, side over here. And this is also hinged on the inside. So the hinge is actually on the inside now on this one. This one's a little later, and it has four barrels. And again, it says it has 12 holes. There's six on each side. Two, four, six, and then there'd be the same amount on the other side. That's one of the differences on these, so that's how you can tell. This is for sterling gas, $1,132. So this goes into the 1930s, mid-36 or thereabouts. The inside on these two, a lot of these weren't marked, so the inserts on these, you won't see any markings on them. People can find just the inserts in big box lots and things like that as well, too. So I always look for barrels, whatever the case may be. If it has anything less than five barrels, the hinges on the outside, you want to nab it up. Again, $1,132. Next one here is another earlier one. Again, 36 ish It has the hinge on the inside of the case, the actual mounting brackets, and it's four barrels, as you can see. It's advertising. has some issues, some wear and stuff for it. It's been polished or buffed is what I would guess on this one. Still a nice one. $1,350 on this one. Another earlier one, 1250. It has the slash. It's square cases, another thing. As they get later on, they're rounded off. 
these show up in just big box lots at auctions. I find these at estate sales. I find these at even garage sales occasionally, but I can end up walking away with hundreds of lighters sometimes. New ones will sell as well. There also are gold ones and platinum versions of Zippo lighters. 1930s four barrel, probably 36, 37, somewhere in that range. Now here's an interesting one here. This is a box for a three barrel outside hinge Zippo lighter. Just the box and just the paperwork. There's nothing in this empty box. I look for this kind of stuff too. You've seen some of the empty boxes I've sold. 1136 bucks because no one's going to find the paperwork in the box. This is so much rarer than the actual lighter itself. So just keep that in mind on this one here. Next one here is a military style. This one's from 1942 and these were basically used for soldiers. So rather interesting. It has the box as well. Usually these go for a little more. It's black so it wouldn't reflect any light. This one is marked and you can see different markings on them. This one has a patent number on it. So it's a little later as I said. The original 34, 35, 36 era. Um, some of those don't have patents on the inserts. So. This one went for $753. Here's another 30s through, say, 46-ish. You can see, again, it has six actual holes on each side. It's got a patent date, 203. 2695 is the one that you want in some of these earlier ones. It's got everything really you'd want to get on a, a Zippo. Nice example all the way around. Inside hinge attached, and it's got four barrels, so $2,400. Part of this is National Carbide, which is the company as well. So a plain one might go for half this or less. One with an actual advertisement will go for a lot more, especially if it's a rare version or something no one's seen before. Zippo collectors go all out on Zippo. So you're going to find a ton of money invested in some of these. You're going to see them for prices like this one here, $2,247. Man under a street light. It says it's never been lit. Uh, this is a pre-46, or right at 46 because of the rounding on it. I haven't seen this design. Still a nice one either way you go. Uh, four barrel inside mounted hinge, 2247 as I said. Now my father-in-law used to work for Mississippi Power, so Reedy Kilowatt is something that we've got a ton of stuff around from. This is a Christmas present, I guess you would say, from Reedy Kilowatt. Another early example, this one's specific, 1947 through 49. That's the era on some of these. It's got a three barrel and it's rounded. So you've just got to know your Zippos a little bit. But again, if it has anything less than five barrels or the hinges on the outside, you already know to get it. This one's $633. It's a little later. If this was earlier, 30s, it'd be worth a ton more money, probably two or three times this. Another one. Now, here's the same one that we saw before. This one's just a little bit different version of it. Let's see if it's got the uh, three hinges on it or what. Yeah, it's the same basic version. The design's not as good as has some markings on it. It wasn't new, un unused like the other one said. So 1300 on this one here. Now, as I said, there's gold versions and there's platinum versions. There's sterling Zippos as well. Here is a gold one. Now, this is five barrel. This is probably into the 47 through 50s, somewhere in that range. Uh, it's a nice example of these. Again, it's worth it because of being a Zippo. It's just worth it because it's a Zippo, of course. A thousand bucks on this one here. It's going to say Zippo on the bottom, as you see here. It's taken some wear, so probably there might have been some other numbers or something it looks like on the bottom. Good example here. They're not super, super rare. I mean, it's not as rare as some of the earlier 30s. It is gold, of course. There is some wear to it. So if it was in better condition, it would go for more money. And we're going through these, if you haven't noticed, in chronological order. So I started with the earliest ones and are working our way up. This one's still probably 1949, 1950s, somewhere in that range. It has the box. It's a planar version. It looks like the World War II version of it, but it's in a different box. It's hard to say without seeing this in hand or spending a few more minutes. Their photo's a little blurry, so it's, again, it's hard to say. $781. Uh, this one might be World War II-ish or right around that range. Could even be Korean War. The paperwork alone sometimes goes for good money, as you saw before. Now, here's a sterling version of it. Now, this is for the Shriners. If you didn't know what that logo is, chances are that's actually gold and a real diamond chip on there because that's just what I see. You can see it's marked on the side here. This is probably 1949, 1950s, somewhere in that range. Good example either way. Let's see if they show the bottom of this puppy here. 
Uh, yep, and there it is. Looking at the bottom, you can see it's an official Zippo, the same number, patent 2032695. Again, they even list it as a diamond. Most of those actually were real diamonds with gold. So I just take that as a, as a fact on some of these early Shriners pins like this, or Shriners items. There's pins that are identical to that. It's worn a little bit, but still a nice item. $2,000 because of what it's for. This type of sterling case for Zippo is extremely scarce. You see it went for double what the gold one, the 14 karat gold. Now this one says it has yellow gold. The yellow gold is just that little tiny bit where the Shriners pin is itself. So anyway, really nice example there. Next one here is a navy one for Allison Douglas. Now this is for a jet fighter. Uh, it's advertising the first launch, probably given away to pilots or soldiers or something along that line. It's actually a tabletop as well. So and I'm going to show you a couple more tabletops in a minute here. Tabletop Zippos are the bomb if you didn't know what they were. Uh, some people run into them and, and don't even look at the bottom of these just because they couldn't imagine that Zippo made something like this. They did. It's very rare. They do show up, though, and people do miss these occasionally. Usually not the advertising ones like this, though. Next one here is an advertising one. It says town and country. I don't really know what that actually means. Streamies, I would gather it's some sort of fishing lure or something along that line. $1,324 on this one here. Nice example either way you go. Now these all have five barrels, I think, from this point on. Let's just check out and see if they've got it shown in there. Obviously, it's going to be an internal no matter what. Yeah, five barrels, just as I thought. I think 203, 2695, majority of those all have five barrels. I'm not a pro on Zippos, but I do know which ones to buy. I've never been wrong on a Zippo lighter because there's not much to know. You can look them up by how many barrels they have to know. I've spent 50, 100, 200, 300 bucks on a Zippo before in the past. Now, this one is another advertising one. They're showing it lit. So let's see if this one shows the bottom of it there. Yeah, there you go. It's not going to be marked Zippo on the bottom. The inside actual piece that slides out will be marked Zippo. This could have been made by a different company, the actual case, but the insides are Zippo, and it was sold as one piece through Zippo like this. $900. Most all of the tabletop ones go for hundreds, four or $500 bare bottom on most of them, as long as they're in good condition and they would probably work. And here's one with the box to show you an example of the box. The case itself may not be a Zippo, as I said. It has four barrels. It's an earlier one, 40s, 50s, still $706. Now, as I said, new ones can go for some good money. There was limited edition ones, and this one actually looks, yeah, it has a few scuffs to the purple on the very left over there on the edge. There's a couple scuff marks. This one still went for $676. Any of these fancy Zippos, if you can get them for a dollar or so, I usually take a chance on them if there's something unique. Just like any other collectibles, 95% of all of them you will run into won't hold much of a value. So keep that in mind when you see these. Look them up. You won't find some of these rare ones. Terra Peak has a lot more than, than actually what you can look at through eBay itself because eBay is 90 days and Terra Peak goes a year or more. So keep that in consideration if you need to look some of these up. I don't use WorthPoint. Terra Peak has the majority of the information if you didn't know that. So here's another camel one just to give you another example. This is from 2000. $676 again. These are something that you might turn up in a big box lot somewhere. They don't look like much. They're not, you know, anything special. They come in a special case, as you can see, a metal case. In case, out of case, I would still mess with these. Even if it's not a super high pricey one, some of these ones, the Camel, 15, 20 bucks minimum for some of the junkier ones. So anyway, it's a real good one either way. And the last one here. Now, the other one I showed you, the other solid gold was 14 karat. This is an 18 karat lighter. Um, it's really a nice one here. This is a more modern day one. Obviously, it's a limited edition. This one's basically uh, designed as a gift. It comes in a cherry wood box. $6,600 basically on this one. So Zippos are a huge area. I've seen Zippos in the $10,000, $15,000 range depending on the Zippo. If you don't know about Zippos, I would spend some time to research. Go back and look at the three barrels, the four barrels. Look at the differences. Look at the outside and the inside hinge. It's easy and really quick to tell the difference once you know the barrel issue on those or the actual wind vent holes on them, whether it be 16 or 12 on them as well. So just keep that in mind when you're actually looking up these types of items. I give you Zippos today because Zippos will show up far more than any of the other brand. 
And Zippo's in general will sell for a heck of a lot more than any of the other brands out there as a generalized rule. I'm talking about everyday lighters. I'm not talking about a Cartier or a Tiffany style, which they do make. These are just everyday person's lighters. And again, they show up all over the place. Flea markets, thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, local auctions, wherever you go to find stuff, you can even RA these items. I can get some wholesale as well, too, from wholesale suppliers. You just got to know which ones to get. That's all there is to it. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you go. That's another item that we do look for. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.